Hi Forex traders, my name is Chris and I welcome you to EliteCurrency.com. This video is focused on Fibonacci trading in the Forex market and I'm very excited about this topic for two particular reasons. First of all, I'm a big Fibonacci fan. I love trading with the Fibonacci. I think it's one of the best tools out there in tackling the market. It gives great support and resistance levels. It can be used for directly for exits and entries, and it can also be used for filtering out bad setups. So you got a lot of good reasons there to use Fibonacci for your trading plan. Now, second of all, the reason why I'm excited is about the fact that this is going to be a series of videos. And this video, this one particularly, is the very first one. So I'm excited about the fact that you can join our webinar series from the very ground up, from the very start, and take it step by step in learning to trade with Fibonacci in the Forex market. Third thing I want to tell you is the fact that there is a free ebook at the end of this video. Check it out at the very end to find out more about getting that free, book, free ebook on Fibonacci. All right, so who is Fibonacci? Fibonacci was an Italian mathematician that lived in the 12th century, and the Fibonacci sequence numbers were named after him. Now, the Fibonacci sequence numbers is basically the very first starting spot I would like to explain uh, before actually diving into all the details about the Fibonacci levels, because we calculate the levels based on these sequences. And you can see these are the sequences, but why? Well, I'll explain right now. Basically, you take the very first two numbers, and you add them up, to get a third number. Then you drop the first number and add the second and third to get a new number. That you repeat the process, you drop the first number and you add the second and third. So in this case you get one plus one is two, right? The red one plus the green one is the blue two. You drop the first one and you take one plus two is then three. All right? You drop the green one, right? The very first uh, green uh, number one. You add two plus three, and you get five. You drop the two again. You take three plus five is eight. Pretty straightforward. Why would this be important? You might be asking. Well, the Fibonacci sequence numbers are in fact used in the forex market. That is something we'll be explaining in a different video. They're also used for calculating the Fibonacci levels themselves. Fibonacci levels is something that we'll dive into deeper in another video as well. And third thing that is interesting as a side note, but I think it should be a kind of a noteworthy, is the fact that the Fibonacci is not only used in trading or forex market, but in fact is visible everywhere, especially in nature, like our body, like in crystal formations, in our DNA and even music. So it's part of kind of a natural rhythm that is apparent in nature. Like this flower, for instance, you see a formation of 21 and 13, both Fibonacci sequence numbers. All right, let's talk a bit about those Fibonacci levels now. The Fibonacci levels basically are calculated by using these sequence levels and playing around with them by dividing these levels with each other. So any of these sequence levels, like 55 for instance, divided by 34, and we will get a Fibonacci ratio or level. Here are some examples, three examples. I mentioned 34 divided by 21 is 1.618. 13 divided by 21 is 0 0.618. And basically, anytime you divide these numbers, these Fibonacci sequence numbers with each other, you'll get ratios that are uh, basically more or less the same. Uh, 13 divided by 21 is the same actually as 55 divided by 89. So that sounds funny, but it is true. Try it out yourself and you should see that those are the same levels. So basically, because there is this pattern, we use these Fibonacci levels in Forex trading. All right, that's how these levels are created. Now, the Fibonacci retracement levels, they're basically two types of levels. You got retracements and targets. Now, the retracements are levels below one. For instance, the uh, 0 0.618. That is a retracement level. 
same thing for 0 0.382. But everything above 1 or actually below 0, something we'll explain later on, in a different video is a target. 1.618 therefore is a target. So we'll use these Fibonacci levels, which are calculated on the sequence numbers for establishing Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci targets when trading. And how we're going to use those levels, how we're going to basically use the retracements uh, and targets is something we'll be discussing in the next video. We'll also talk about why these levels are so important and how to use them in our Forex trading. Write to info at elitecurrency.com, send us a Twitter message or check out our website and get the free ebook if you send us a message. It's that simple and you'll have that ebook on your email address in a jiffy very soon. Well, I wish you happy hunting, good trading, and talk to you soon. Cheers.